Hey guys, here comes the first tutorial of this mini series. I'm gonna use the same mesh of the previous tutorial. See link in description to download it for free. I gave it a very simple rig and very simple animation for the testing. The weight maps look like that. Let's start by hiding everything. Then make a plane. Unhide the armature and bring the plane near the breastbones. In edit mode scale down the plane. Then select the armature and enter edit mode. Select the chest bone and exit edit mode. Select the plane and shift select the armature, then press Ctrl P and chose bone. The plane is now a child of the chest bone. You can run the test animation to check that. Select the plane again and go in edit mode. I'm gonna move the vertices to the bone's extremities. My snapping option is set on vertex. So I can move one vertex at a time while pressing the control key and snap them to the bones. Then control R to add an edge in the middle of the plane, then delete these new vertices. This leave only two edges and four vertices for the plane object. Now I create a vertex group for the mesh. I give a weight of 1 for the base vertices and a weight of 0.5 for the tip ones. And select that specific vertex before going back to object mode. Create an empty. Scale it down. Move it while pressing the control key to snap it to the tip of the left bone. Then press F2 and give this empty a name finishing by L. Shift select the plane object then press Ctrl P and choose vertex. Shift D to duplicate the empty and snap it to the right bone. Then press F2 and choose a name finishing by R. Select the plane. Go to edit mode. And select that vertex. Back in object mode. Select first the right empty and the plane object then press Ctrl P and choose vertex. As expected. The empties are now parented to the plane vertices. It's time to move these vertices to the correct place. And to give the plane object some physics properties, activate cloth. And copy these parameters. You can try to dive in the other options, but, I warn you, it is really deep and can swallows you forever. Bake the simulation. It's super fast. And from now, you'll be able to run the animation in real time for all your tests. Hide your mesh and select the armature. In edit mode snap the tip of your bones to the empties. Go to pose mode and select the right bone, then the left one and press shift ctrl c to apply a damp track constraint. Go back in object mode, select the left empty and press f2 to highlight its name. Ctrl c to copy this name. Select the armature and go to pose mode. Select the left bone and modify its damp track constraint. Erase the armature field and press Ctrl V in the target field to paste the name of the empty. Then add a limit rotation constraint. Make it unseen for now. Then select first the right bone and then the left one and copy all the constraints to the right bone. I've added this function to my quick favorites, but you can find it. There. For the right bone, modify the name of the target. We are now ready to launch a new test to see how the mesh deforms. Obviously, optimizations are needed. And that's the job of the limit rotation. Again, trust me with these values for now. Don't forget to select local space. And very rapidly the result is much better.
you now have a bunch of parameters to make this simulation suits your liking. You'll just have to bake again the simulation if you modify the cloth options or the weights in the plain vertex group. Have fun and stay tuned for the next episode.